All right, guys. Welcome back to episode two of the Let's Play series. Um, today's primary objective is to get some food. And what I mean by that is we are going to build a very basic wheat farm. So I need to make a couple stone shovels over here at the crafting bench. And then um, I got to hollow out crafting bench. Then I got to hollow out uh, my wheat farm area. So I'm going to be building it right here. Um, I'm going to take it back a little bit. And I'm probably going to make 30 stacks worth or so 30 um, growing units worth of the of the wheat. Uh, so I got a little bit of seeds, but we need to have more space. Um, I do need to get a bucket so I can start transferring water sources. And I'm not going to try to make this really good looking at the moment. Um, I'm more interested in just getting it down and getting it producing. And when I get a more established foothold, I will build a larger and more versatile wheat farm. Potentially at some point with automated villager collecting and a, and a flushing system. So that is going to be good. So I'll take this back a couple more blocks. Like so. stone okay uh, we'll just fill this in with some andesite okay so what I'm gonna do is do I have enough space nope okay all right I'm gonna take the floor out too actually <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen. All right, well, we're gonna... over here. We're going to do the same. I have to clean up one more block to my right, but that's okay. Iron picks are very slow, especially with no enchants. But once we go down to the chasm, we're probably going to be able to find some, some diamonds. And the first thing we're going to make is a diamond pickaxe. Okay, let's see. If we can go outside, um, I want to get some more wheat seeds, if at all possible. Uh, beautiful, it's time to go outside. And I also want to find some lily pads. Now I'm going to place the lily pads down on the, the water sources I get. Nothing, nothing, okay. And I'm going to use the lily pads to just cover up the water sources and make it look a little nicer, uh, potentially a little bit more functional. So we're going to try to find those. And then I'm going to start trying to get some trees so we can get uh, torches, um, ladders made so I can get down to the, the pig. So I can get down to the ravine and start actually searching what kind of resources it's got for me. So I'm not going to try to go too, too far away from the base so I don't get the... Um, The lily pads relatively quickly. I'm not gonna, you know, make a big deal of it. I'll just place water down, and then you know that'll be that. But a little bit of exploration is not bad. 
Um, no, no skeleton farm yet, unfortunately. So I'll have to deal with the slow-growing weed. All right, when you're a mountain, that's nice. Uh, just some gravel looks like nothing crazy. So yeah, for the skeleton farm, I was going to uh, hopefully find one soon. <laughs> then I can get bone meal and the process for this kind of stuff goes really quick when you can bone meal a lot of it. Uh, sugar cane's nice. I uh, don't have the slimes available to make a slime farm. Or uh, don't have the slimes available to make a automated sugar cane farm. But at some point, that's something I do want to do. Because the slime blocks are certainly very, very helpful. And I can make a slime elevator down to the chasm where the majority of the bases can be housed. This is cool. Uh, I'm not going to go in there because uh, I'm not exactly equipped to fight any kind of monsters. So we're going to keep it pretty simple. No, no real cave exploration. Hmm. Still nothing with the slimes. Okay. I'm just going to explore over here real quick, then I'm heading back. I got my enough seeds at 30. Excellent. Let's see. Looks like we got some kind of uh, grassland savanna coming up, backing onto a mountain, which is really nice. Okay. Nothing looking like some lily pads is spawning. So we're going we're gonna to collect the sugar cane and we're going to head on back. Something those particle effects are really nice. So I got two chops left in full HP and full food bar, which is nice. Um, hopefully with a little bit of luck, we'll have the wheat grow real quick. And then we're not going to have to worry about running out of food and killing our livestock. Because uh, I don't want to try to have to go find them and then drag them back. If I can live off bread for a little bit, and then I can start breeding some cows and then uh, chop up the cows <laughs> for some food sources. Alright, let's see here. So, we're back at the pumpkins, which means the base is over that way a little bit. Last time I climbed up that, which was it needed. So, we still got sheep here, which is nice. I want to breed the sheep as much as possible. Because I'm going to get myself a wool farm at some point. Or just a collection of sheep that I can shear and have them live off the grass. So, that's wonderful. And we are back at the cave. And we already have a sheep coming down. <laughs> Hopefully he stays with the, the cave system. I'm going to keep this waterfall. Um, at some point I'm going to... Turned it into a, a nice little habitation with some wood and grass and whatnot, and have it a little bit more decorated. Uh, let's see here, I need to get some wood. Wood, excellent. And we can make a stone hoe. If I can remember the, the recipe for this. Hmm. I haven't made a hoe in so long. That's a pick, axe, hoe. There we go. That's what I was going for. Till the dirt. Pretty simple.
Alright, now we need to make a bucket, so we gotta grab ourselves three iron. Three iron. Bucket. Excellent. Put the bucket right here. I think we only need one water source. Uh, I guess I should have put the source of water in before I tilled everything. We're going to put the water source right here. And that should um, provide enough hydration for the surrounding blocks. Uh, I can't remember the exact... Uh, what's the word? <laughs> I can't remember the exact radius a bucket gets you. So like one water uh, cell gets you in the game. Um, but... When I do build an actual automated weed farm, maybe even one with just a basic flushing system with hoppers and water buckets. There we are. Oh, back to hoeing. These resources are unlimited, so it's not terrible that the stuff is removing back to its natural untilled. Oh, that was kind of weird. Oh, placing doubles does that why is that doing that that's weird let's try now very interesting. Uh, that's a game mechanic I was not aware. It looks like you can't place seeds down when the light level is below a certain point. So that's something interesting. I'm going to have to look that up afterwards because I'm genuinely curious about it. Just add a little bit of extra light. So now here, all of the tiles are hydrated. Uh, the light level is sufficient and you can see we're already starting to get the game ticks up. So 15 by fifth, two sets of 15 so that's 30 that means every time this grows fully I get 10 uh, what's it called 10 wheat uh, sorry 10 10 breads <laughs> I get 10 bread which is exactly what I need uh, so in the meantime we're gonna hollow out this a bit more to make more of a um, less of a claustrophobic look Excellent. So when it becomes day, I'm going to head on out and we're going to find up some wood and start with a clout, um, probably a chicken enclosure actually if I can find the chickens fast enough. Um, I want chickens probably the first animal uh, and then cows. Actually, do I have the do I have the wool? Well, can I make the bed with the brown wool? Uh, hopefully, it's not just white. Hopefully, it's just wool. That'd be really nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to drop the bed right here. And now that it's daytime, we're gonna run back upstairs. And we're going to grab ourselves some trees. I, I need wood to build additional chests. Uh, we're just going to say we're going to buy the stone axe or craft it <coughs> so we can save ourselves iron resource. Um, since I'm not doing branch mining or any kind of mining that involves enchanted picks and or beacons. I need to conserve my iron. I don't want to run into a situation where I am spending iron on things that at this very moment don't really need to be spent on. So collecting these eggs is going to be good because I can toss them into a homemade pen. And how, how am I getting this achievement now? That doesn't make any sense. I'm just going to cut down the birches for now. And then I'll decide on a wood that I want to use on the inside of the base. Pretty good. 
So yeah, when you toss the egg, you have a chance of spawning chickens, so the more eggs I get, if I can get like two stacks, because they only go up to 16 eggs, so if I can get two stacks of 16 eggs, I can hopefully get two chickens, and then I can breed them with the leftover weed seeds. So the more wheat I plant, the more chickens I can get. And then, because I find there's a chicken AI that try to get it over to the base is some kind of little, a little derpy. So I prefer to just breed them in, in a uh, single location, and then, <laughs> then that's it. So one thing I do want to build uh, in the base, probably pretty quickly, is a tree farm. <laughs> and maybe not necessarily a farm, but just an area where I can grow trees. Uh, we'll call it the uh, the tree terrace or the terrace of trees or something, and I'll, it'll look out over the chasm. And then you can go back in there, and then I'll have a, a whole section where I can grow the giant spruce uh, if I need. I'll figure out what block height to get up to, and I'll tunnel it up so I can make like six or seven or eight of them or something. Okay, uh, I got 42. That should be enough to do what I'm going to want to do. So I'm going to start trying to get pens for these guys. Just so if I can get two, it can be like a little Noah's Ark or something. <laughs> and then I can start successfully breeding them as I get the resources and need and desire to. So, wheat grown okay. This guy is the all-star. And the first thing I'm going to build is a chicken pen. We're just going to go three back here. Um... So, the reason uh, getting the chickens pretty early is good is because an infinite chicken cooker is an extraordinarily simple build. It doesn't require a lot of technical skills, and it doesn't really require a whole lot of resources. So, uh, get some... Make another two stacks of this. Oh, even got some more iron. We'll throw that in there. Put this in there, so 18 iron, not bad. So this here, a bunch of birch, excellent. Make some more torches, got lots of wood, okay. Okay, so we need to make some fences. Gate, good. Perfect for the four cells that I got. So we'll just switch this in here. Beautiful. Chickens. So, <clears throat> time to get the chickens. Um, I'm going to bring them back. I know it might not be an absolute priority, but they're pretty close. And if I can get them started now, then that's the fastest I'll, I'll get uh, food. And since uh, and since food's a dense resource is based on how the uh, food regeneration system works, I want to be topped up on food relatively quickly from the start of the game. And getting too low on food is a problem. <clears throat> I'm also going to need a lot of chickens to make a chicken cooker viable. So, I want to get as many as I can started now. So if I do AFK, um, I can collect lots and lots of... I collect, collect lots and lots of chickens. Either their meat, feathers, um, or the eggs to actually make the chicken cooker a viable option in the world. And then I think we're going to move to eventually make a cow cooker. But cow cooker is important so we can get more leather for books and enchanting. So we have chicken one here. And you lure these guys with some seeds. It's pretty easy. We're going to take them over here. And they have a timer before uh, they decide that you are no longer worth following. So you got to lead them on 
<laughs> a wild goose chase. But that's the wrong that's wrong kind of bird. Wrong kind of bird. So we're gonna go keep going down, keep going down. Hopefully they don't get tripped up by the waterfall, because that'd be really annoying. Alright, come on guys. We're going this way. Alright, so so far this has actually been turning into a relatively easy experience. Hopefully that remains the case and they can navigate the lip relatively easy. Oh, perfect, here we are. Come on guys. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. We're gonna hop in here. And we're gonna go to the back. Perfect. We're gonna hop this way, close the gate. They make love, and boom, baby chicken right there. If we have three chickens, go us. So I'm going to keep this going. I'm probably going to try to breed up uh, maybe 25 chickens or so and uh, try to get a hopper system in here where I can have two double chests sitting here and the hoppers will feed into them so as the chickens lay eggs and I'm not standing right beside the fence gate to collect them I can just pop the chest and voila eggs so so far uh, the wheat looks really really good I'm kind of happy with how that's going <laughs> so I really do wish I had bone meal because I would bone meal this done real quick and then I would Replant bone meal again real quickly, and then again replant, replant, replant. Oh, so the first, the next thing I should probably do, if I'm going to continue using water, is get myself an infinite water source. Uh, so I'll quickly show how that is done. As a means to refresh myself, and B as a means to teach someone who might be new to Minecraft and veteran players building infinite water sources is a second thought. But it's always nice to get a refresher. So I guess we can build it. We'll build it right here. Down and in. And we put it in that corner so all the water drains over here. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab one more bucket. So you need two buckets or two trips. Depending on how you want to do this. And you place it in the adjacent corner of a 4x4 four four circle. <laughs> no, not a circle. A 4x4 four four square. So whenever you take a corner out, you never actually remove the water source because it's always constantly refilling, a.k.a. the infinite water system, which is super duper handy. And now we can continually do stuff. So I'm going to have several of these around the bases just... Descri uh, disguised as decoration and whatnot, so maybe I'll have like a nine by nine pool, but it'll be set up so I can just have infinite water all over the place. And a way I can get down to the very bottom of this place is I could place a water pillar and then swim up the water pillar, but I don't really know where it all ends, so I'm going to try and not do that. <laughs> So keep the chicken here. Um, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these because I want to make more torches. More torches, and we are going to make. Uh, sometimes it doesn't click. Actually, we're gonna make. We're gonna make a whole bunch of ladders. All right, that should be far more than enough ladders. Uh, we're gonna drop all this stuff back off into the. 
actually I'm going to bring some of these just in case. Uh, back off into the storage system. AKA, oops, that's not what I want at all. Yeah, it's time to splurge on a little bit of resources because we do need to get some weapons just in case we get down there and someone decides to pick a fight with us I want to be able to defend myself from spiders and not die this early into the into the episode because that would be kind of embarrassing so how I'm gonna try to get down here is okay so now I can see that it's not a terrible straight drop but we do have problems so what I'm gonna try to do is flush these guys down oh. alright that's a problem oh so he tried to climb up hopefully he gets washed over Oh, skeletons are actually good now. Okay, okay, interesting. Try to do some jukes. Ow. Okay. Skeleton's getting the best of me. There we go. See an Enderman over there, that's a fight I definitely can't take. I don't know where the second skeleton is. Interesting. Is this in the back of my base? I think it is. Very interesting. back to the base <laughs> so I think that is probably going to cut off my exploration for the day I got an ink sack somehow <laughs> I don't really know how that happened maybe um, squid spawned into the waterfall somehow and then died so we have a little bit of progress down here uh, I'm not really concerned about not getting the XP uh, actually oh, let's risk the biscuit 
No, I don't. Do the hasty retreat. Okay, we're done. For <laughs> we're done over there until we get a lot more food and a little bit more idea. It's very hard to try to dodge arrows when I cannot see exactly where the skeleton archer is coming from. But I think today that's kind of where I'm going to wrap up the episode. When we tune back in next week or next episode, we're going to have some more chickens. Our wheat's going to be fully grown. And we are going to continue to explore down into this area as well as get some resources to work on getting a pen for cows and pigs and sheep just so we have all of the livestock that I need already in one location maybe we'll house them over here I don't know yet but anyway thank you so very much for watching the episode take care